Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon, Billy Joel drops by, NBC Two. Now, from the station on your side, this is Wavy News 10. An officer's desperate pleas. Go unanswered. Inside two homes, a family. Just can't imagine. Just can't imagine. Murdered by one of their own. It was definitely a shock. Tonight, neighbors have questions. I think everybody wonders that, you know, what makes a person snap. And a loss beyond understanding. A standoff, we reported last night, has become a murder-suicide investigation tonight in Chesapeake. Loved ones are grieving the loss of six neighbors, all from the same family. The killer, a son and brother named Cameron Dooley. You can see him here in the bottom left corner of your screen. Police say he killed his grandmother, Doris, father, Todd, mother, Lori, brother, Landon, and sister, Brooke. Well, tonight, the community held a vigil in their honor. Ten on your side's Liz Kilmer was there. Liz? Chris, Nicole, the parking lot at Temple Baptist Church here was so packed that some people had to park in the grass. So many came out to honor and remember the Dooley family, loved ones, neighbors, police officers, even total strangers. Now, church leaders requested that members of the media stay off of the property so that people could mourn in private, mourn in peace. We, of course, respected those wishes. However, we were still able to talk to some people who felt compelled to tell us how special this family was. It's just, it's just shocking, and, I, and so I'm out here to pay my respects. One among hundreds who came out to honor and remember a family taken so heinously. What happened last night was very tragic. The whole neighborhood was on lockdown, but Deep Creek, we are a very tight tough community. A community now shaken after a horrific murder-suicide that left six members of the Dooley family shot to death. Starting at six, friends, family, neighbors, and complete strangers came together for a vigil at Temple Baptist Church. The pastor um, prayed and another one read some scripture and it was just a lot of hugging, a lot of talking, um, Tears, of course. Loved ones say the Dooleys attended the church and played a key role there. They were close-knit. People can't make sense that 26-year-old Cameron turned the gun on himself after fatally shooting five members of his family, including his father, Todd, a recently retired Chesapeake Marine police officer. His fellow officers came in numbers to remember one of their own. They were part of a family here in Deep Creek, and I knew it was going to be really big out here tonight. Bringing flowers and warm embraces. Those left behind don't understand why this happened. Together, they hope to find strength. The love, the compassion, we will overcome this. We don't know why, and sometimes we're not supposed to know why. Left with no answers and a reminder that life is short. Hug your loved ones every day because you never know. Hug them. Now, a candlelight vigil is also scheduled for the family. That will take place in the parking lot here this Saturday at 5 p.m. Chris, back to you. All right, Liz, thanks very much. Now, let's take you through the timeline of this investigation. Chesapeake police say they went to Todd Dooley's home at 3.35 Wednesday afternoon. They found his son Landon shot to death there on Wildwood Road. At 7, investigators turned their attention to this home on George Washington Highway. They were looking for Cameron, and the standoff began. He came Cameron, here. come out with your hands up. We love you and care about you. They can help you through this. Finally, at 2.10 this morning, police entered the home. Oh, my God. Inside, they found five family members shot to death. They believe Cameron Dooley killed them all before officers arrived, then took his own life. As police investigation continues, we are still working to get answers to key questions. We've learned Brooke was last in school on Monday and Todd did not show up to work on Tuesday. We still don't know exactly when Cameron Dooley decided to kill them. We've also been working to learn more about all of the individual victims. Of course, the biggest question is why Cameron turned a gun on his family. Police have only told us it started as some type of domestic incident. 
Tonight, thousands of people have been reaching out to help the Dooley family. Yeah, their loved ones have begun a GoFundMe account to help cover the cost of these funerals. As you can see, more than 100 people have decided to donate. They've raised more than $5,000 toward a goal of $50,000. We'll keep you updated on any developments in this investigation. Look for new information on air and anytime on wavy.com. The Super Doppler 10 weather team is tracking a bit of rain in our area tonight. Chief Meteorologist Don Slater joins us now. Don, where is it falling already and when will it stop? Well, it should be ending within the next hour or so. It's playing along pretty nicely uh, with the expectations. It should move offshore by around 2 o'clock in the morning. So again, we're looking pretty good. Let's have a look where everything is. As far as the very, very light rain, only a few hundredths of an inch uh, into parts of uh, northeast North Carolina and less than that moving across the Middle Peninsula and the uh, uh, eastern shore in the past hour. Over the Hampton Road cities, really not much rainfall whatsoever. A little bit over southern Chesapeake and into Virginia Beach, but enough to wet down the streets in a few spots and it's ending soon too in eastern North Carolina. You can see this progressing eastward. This is over two and a half hours time. Uh, so again, it's going back some time and we did have a little bit more moderate rain south of Elizabeth City and on up to about Kerala. But again, that too is moving off real, real nicely. So we're looking good. It's moving out and we're on the very edge of that rain. Well, that rain is going to continue to move on out. Could see a sprinkle tomorrow afternoon. It's going to be windy tomorrow during the day and then we go all the way on out until Wednesday until we see any more rainfall into the area. So it's really quiet weather. It's also going to be warmer weather coming up in the next couple of days. We'll tell you about that too as the rain moves on away, moves out to sea. Still got some cloud cover hanging tough. Tell you what that's going to do too. That'll be in the forecast in a few minutes. A body discovered in a burning house. Now Chesapeake police are trying to figure out how the fire started this afternoon. Ten of your sides, Liz Palka, has been following the story all day. And Liz, you've learned new details? Nicole, police have not released any information on the victim, but we have learned from the homeowner and neighbors the victim was an elderly woman. She was about 70 years old and had only been living on Hoover Avenue for a few months. Crime scene tape surrounds a South Norfolk home Thursday evening. Chesapeake police investigating how a fire started inside this Hoover Avenue home and what happened to the person who died. Neighbors and witnesses say they could hear the victim crying for help as smoke billowed from the windows around noon. I ran over there. They was already trying to kick her door down. She was in there. She was saying, help me. She's in there. Neighbors say it was an elderly woman trapped in the home. They fought to get to her. Some frustrated because they say dispatchers were telling them not to enter the burning house. I could have had time not to get in there for the safety lady or try to save her. But uh, they said, don't go in there, don't go in there. So I just didn't go in. I ran back to put my shoes on, my boots on so I could help come kick the door down. <sighs> but by the time I came back with so much fire and so much smoke, couldn't get in there. Firefighters couldn't get in the home until they put out the flames. Once they made their way in, they found the victim. By the time the police came, they came and drug her out. She was gone. She was dead. That's when the police investigation began. Officers were at the scene for hours. An arson dog was brought in. Investigators carefully combed through what was left of the house as neighbors watched on, thinking of the victim. She had a little bird and everything. She used to bring us feathers, bring my kids feathers for the bird from the bird and yeah, she was a nice old lady. The homeowner told me she was at work when the fire started. She said the woman was only living with her temporarily as she got back on her feet and she doesn't have any family in the area. We will update this story as soon as we know her name and how this fire started. I'm Liz Palka, 10 on your side. Two people, including a child, are recovering from a fire in Newport News. Firefighters sent us this video from Town Square Drive. They say both got out safely but breathed in smoke. Medics took them to the hospital. Investigators say they kept the fire contained to the kitchen, but they had to condemn the home. They could not tell us how it started. New information tonight in a story we've been following since April. Norfolk fire investigators say they know what caused an explosion at the Selden Arcade. They say it started when a contractor hit a power line, and as the cables failed and overheated, they say gases filled an electrical room and built up to explosive levels. The city discovered additional damage to the building last year. They are still trying to figure out the cost of the repairs. New tonight, a jury has found a third gang member guilty of a double murder in Newport News. 
It recommends 23-year-old Tyrone Batten spend the next 96 years in prison and pay a $50,000 fine. In 2008, Batten and two others from the 36th Street Bang Squad Bloods killed 16-year-old Barry Richardson and 15-year-old Keon Fleming. They accused the teens of trespassing on their territory. Batten will be formally sentenced in March. It'll be at least another month before Portsmouth Mayor Kenny Wright appears in court. He was supposed to be there tomorrow, but his case has been delayed. The mayor faces a felony charge of eluding police earlier this month. The sheriff says he tried to pull right over for an expired ex inspection sticker, but the mayor refused. An update to the public corruption case against Norfolk City Treasurer. Anthony Burfoot was in court today. Attorneys agreed to make potential jurors fill out a questionnaire due to all the publicity in the case. They also agreed to let a third party speak with witnesses in Burfoot's office because he can't have contact with them. Burfoot is out on bond. We expect the trial to start in May. Governor Terry McAuliffe says tomorrow he'll announce a big deal about gun laws. We expect him to overturn one controversial measure and enact another. A month ago, Attorney General Mark Herring announced that some concealed carry permits were not valid in Virginia. Herring did not believe they stood up to the Commonwealth's safety standards. Well, McAuliffe is expected to announce tomorrow that that policy will be reversed, and Virginia will once again recognize those out-of-state concealed carry permits. In exchange, Republicans have agreed anyone with permanent protective orders for domestic violence will not be allowed to carry weapons. More than a dozen schools are taking steps toward pool accreditation. Hear more the improvements taking place across Hampton Roads. D.C. is backing off more than a million dollars worth of traffic tickets. An update to last night's report. And a former city leader in Portsmouth says he's got a problem with the way things are being run. The move he is considering tonight. You're watching Wavy News 10 at 11 with Tom Shad, Nicole Livas, Chief Meteorologist Don Slater, and Bruce Slater Sports. Monday at 6. Ted on your side investigates what's being done to help former inmates find jobs. When I got out, the reality was really harsh for me. Then a twist in the story that we never saw coming. Monday on Wavy News 10 at 6. New year, new look. Same great savings at all six Grand Furniture locations. Save 20%. Plus, pay no interest for 12 months and everything's delivered free. Hurry in and save through Monday at Grand Furniture. Tired of being stuck in traffic? That's why I depend on 10 Time Saver Traffic to get me where I'm going. Powered by Nissan of Chesapeake and Nissan of Norfolk. I am totally blind, and sometimes I struggle to sleep at night and stay awake during the day. This is called Non-24. Learn more by calling 844-824-2424 or visit your24info.com. Our next item is a genuine Name Your Price tool. This highly sought-after device from Progressive can be yours for... 20 grand? No, we are giving it away for just three easy payments of $4.99 plus tax. The lines are blowing up. We've got Deborah from Poughkeepsie. Yeah. You guys realize anyone can use the Name Your Price tool for free on Progressive.com, right? <laughs> I know it's like they're always on television. What? I do everything in my Kia. It's a reflection of my style. And nobody knows that better than Casey Kia, where they matched my personality to my budget and found the right vehicle. Picture yourself in a new Kia Sorento. Drive an SUV with style. That's backed by the Kia 10-year, 100,000-mile warranty. Get up to $1,500 off the Kia Sorento. And well-qualified buyers can get 0% financing for up to 66 months. Offer ends February 1st, 2016. Casey, the only name you need to know. This is your last chance. Don't, Don't get stuck, stuck paying, paying a penalty, penalty by not having health insurance. Join Celebrate Healthcare on January 29th and the 30th at the Hampton Roads Convention Center in Hampton or go to CelebrateHealthcare.net. When winter weather hits, get expert insight from our weather blogs. Because if you know what to expect, you know how to prepare. For an in-depth look at the storm, go to the blog section on the wavy.com weather app. New year, new look. Same great savings at all six Grand Furniture locations. Save 20%. Plus, pay no interest for 12 months and everything's delivered free. Hurry in and save through Monday at Grand Furniture. Closed captioning is brought to you by Michael & Son Services. 
Back now with news that former Portsmouth City Manager John Rowe is considering a run for mayor. For now, he's being quiet about it, but he did tell us tonight he's not saying no to the possibility. More than 500 people turned out to hear Rowe speak at a meeting tonight hosted by the group People for Portsmouth. They say their focus is to educate voters ahead of the November election. Council ousted Rowe in April ahead of his planned resignation. Well, tonight, he talked about the perceived lack of transparency in city government. I mean, if you were to take just a poll in here, I think the sense was is that there's not much trust. And if there's not much, much trust, then yes, local government has failed. Rowe says he needs to discuss the mayoral run with family before making a final decision. The filing deadline is June 14th. New tonight, a founding member of the band Jefferson Airplane has died. Paul Kampner was 74. He had a heart attack this week. Jefferson Airplane became popular in the 60s with hits such as Somebody to Love and White Rabbit. All new tonight, more than a dozen local schools are one step closer to full accreditation. Virginia's Department of Education calls the status partially accredited. A school can be partially accredited for a number of reasons, including having students who don't normally do well. The state says schools on the list are working to fix the issues. It includes Hampton, Franklin, Newport News, Portsmouth, Southampton County, Suffolk, and Virginia Beach. If you want to see the full list, head to our website. The Zika virus has spread to more than 11 states now, including Virginia. The World Health Organization says it will hold an emergency meeting Monday to decide whether this is an international emergency. Medical experts believe the mosquito-borne virus is linked to birth defects in South America. Travelers have been bringing it all over the world. In the meantime, Health officials say they are working to develop a vaccine. Doesn't mean we have a vaccine ready. That's going to take years. But the starting on the vaccine trial will be an accelerated process based on our prior experience with vaccines against similar viruses like West Nile. For now, avoiding mosquitoes is the best way to avoid Zika. Doctors say insect repellents with DEET are considered safe. Virginia lawmakers fought over school required immunizations today. Some proposed doing get uh, some proposed doing away with the exemptions for religious and medical reasons, but the bill didn't make it far. A group of parents in Virginia Beach says they oppose the bill. They believe that's the reason it was pulled. Delegates say they want more information. Just saying that, you know, religiously you cannot make a a choice for your child as a parent. In my mind, the first thing I thought of was that's unconstitutional. I asked to strike the bill as long as it could be sent to the Joint Commission on Health Care to be discussed and studied further. Lawmakers say the medical community approached them about the bill. Health experts said the rise in long dormant diseases concerns them. Now, your Super Doppler 10 forecast with Chief Meteorologist Don Slater. A little warm up on the way. Yeah, we're hoping we can squeeze some sunny days out of the end of January. <laughs> yeah, I think yeah. we will. We'll uh, squeeze some really, really nice days too, especially on the weekend. How's that? Yeah, that's right great. We're looking pretty good for the weekend. Uh, right now, not looking so good. We've got some rainfall out there. It's not all that bad. It's going to end in the next couple of hours. I want to show you what's going on at Super Doppler 10 Live. North Carolina, you've seen your, uh, the streets wet down a little bit. Just a few hundredths of an inch of rainfall. It's been into Chesapeake and Virginia Beach a little bit. but And uh, the eastern shore. But for most of us, not so much. And really, even the eastern shore hasn't lasted all that long. And uh, again, mostly uh, just a sprinkle or two. And we move to the eastern North Carolina. Yeah, we've had some rainfall here, but still, even with all this rain over the past several hours, it's been just a, a few hundredths of an inch, and that was exactly what we expected out of this situation, and it's going to continue to move eastward and move on off. We're going to see a decent day coming up for tomorrow. Here's where things are at midnight, 45 minutes from now. It's got a little farther to the southeast, and it moves on off real nicely. It's going to be a breezy day tomorrow, 10 to 15 to start the day. That's a little breezy for the first thing in the morning, and then we work our way on through the day 15 to 20 mile an hour winds all the forecast models have a little bit of a punch of wind dropping on through by around three o'clock and maybe a sprinkle with it but it's not going to wash out our day quite obviously the rest of the forecast models uh, look something like this with just a sprinkle moving on through in the middle of the afternoon 15 20 mile an hour winds by the end of the day 
and then those winds tend to drop off overnight and into Saturday morning, become more southwesterly. Here's where things are for the day on Saturday, 510, five, 10 mile an hour winds at the end of the day. Lots of sunshine for the weekend. It'll warm up a little bit more coming up for the day on Saturday with that southwest breeze by the end of the day on Saturday night, really at midnight. It'll really warm things on up for Sunday. And speaking of that, let's go out further in time, show you what's going on from midnight all the way to the middle of next week, show you what's going on here. And we've got a little bit of cloud cover, not too much more than that. A rainfall kind of hitting at us a little bit. And then finally does hit us uh, by noon on Wednesday with some scattered showers, maybe even a rumble of thunder as warm as it's going to be for the day coming up on Wednesday. Once we hit Sunday, we're going to warm into the 60s and pretty much stay there into the low to mid 60s all the way uh, into the middle of the week. Here's what's been going on over the past couple of hours on our tower cam. 39, 42, 43, 44. Uh, with the rainfall that we had, it's not cold enough to snow into the area right now. It's 37, getting a little closer though uh, in Williamsburg. You're going to be around 35, 36 usually uh, for there to be snow. And we had a little hint and a little bit of sleet mixed in with a couple of sprinkles in Williamsburg around 9 o'clock, but that's pretty well gone. Upper 30s uh, to around 44, already cooling off at Wakefield with 36 degrees. Wider view of things. It's going to get a little chilly overnight. It'll drop on down uh, into the 30s. As far as 24 hour rain totals, where are they? Well, obviously, Northeast North Carolina, five 100s in Manteo, two 100s in Elizabeth City. And I think that five 100s is about as big as we're going to get out of that rainfall. And that'll move on offshore here, as I showed you uh, in the next couple of hours. And for most of the area, mostly cloudy at midnight, but clearing gradually. We'll drop on down to about 36. It'll be 32 inland. Be a breezy day coming up for tomorrow. And there's that isolated sprinkle coming up at 3 o'clock or so in the afternoon for the day tomorrow. And the skies clear off again during the overnight hours and into the day on Saturday. 51. So 49 tomorrow. 51. And then we'll go ahoo. 63, 64. Remaining into the low to mid 60s all the way on into Wednesday. So we're looking pretty good. A little bit better tomorrow. Better than that Saturday. And terrific once we hit Sunday. Wahoo. 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 We like that. Wahoo. Yes, we Especially do. the people at UVA like yeah. that. Yeah. Uh. Wahoo. <laughs> A city leader is easing up on traffic tickets for people caught up in a major storm. The reason she is backing off the violations tonight. When winter weather affects your drive, get the latest traffic conditions on the wavy.com weather app. Getting to the top is always a challenge. However, if you drive the award-winning Jeep Grand Cherokee or the versatile Jeep Cherokee, you'll realize the top is just the beginning. One drive and you'll discover why the Jeep brand continues to be the best-selling SUV brand. Well-qualified current lessees of competitive vehicles get a low-mileage lease on the 2016 Cherokee Latitude for $199 a month. To make sure our customers get the best service, I'm going undercover. So you can pick it up. Tomorrow afternoon? Morning. Wow, that's fast. And reliable. How reliable? Guaranteed. How guaranteed? Lifetime. <gasps> that's huge. And no one suspected a thing. So great customer service. Mission accomplished. There's no disguising it. More care, less cost. Discover the elephant difference at elephant.com. Hampton Roads is a great place to make an honest living, raise a family, and give your kids a bright future. But life can present challenges. Telling your side takes your problems seriously, sharing your concerns, and giving you the power to fight back. That's why we're in this together. Your station, your team, your voice. Ten on your side. Want super savings that really kick things off? Greg's got it! A Whirlpool top load washer and dryer, $6.99 for the pair. A Frigidaire stainless steel side-by-side -side refrigerator, $8.89. Plus up to 24 months, zero interest. Greg's got it! Super savings on a super selection of major appliances. Save up to an extra $500 instantly on HH Greg's already low prices. Top brands, low prices, fast delivery. HH Greg. Greg's got it! It took dozens of prototypes, hundreds of crash simulations, thousands of hours of painstaking craftsmanship, and an infinite reserve of patience to create a vehicle that looks, drives, and thinks like nothing else on the road. 
The all-new GLC, the SUV the world has been waiting for. Starting at 38,950. People in Moscow are watching for a winter weather hazard, icicles. Snow is melting in Russia's capital. As temperatures have started rising, icicles have started falling. City officials have blocked off some of the sidewalks to protect pedestrians. Mayor of D.C. says she will void nearly 3,000 parking tickets. That's good news to a lot of people. We reported parking attendants ticketed drivers who left their vehicles on emergency routes during the blizzard last week. Mayor Muriel Bowser says the ticket dismissal is a small way the city can help people recover from the snow. The city would have made more than $1 million on those tickets. Old Dominion looks to get back on the winning track, opening a Florida road trip. And guess who stole the show again? That guy, Trey Freeman. Who else? The Sports Wrap is next. Value City Furniture presents how to buy the perfect mattress. First, ask yourself, are you avoiding shopping for a new mattress because you think mattress shopping is anything but a comfortable experience? Wake up and head to Value City Furniture. Our unique three-step process makes finding the perfect Serta or Beautyrest mattress so easy, you can almost do it in your sleep. Oh, wow. Perfect. And that's how to buy the perfect piece at Value City Furniture. Peyton Manning and the Broncos. Or Cam Newton and the Panthers. The Hampton Road Show gets you ready for the big game. And we're going to help you kick off your ultimate party. Celebrate big game week on the Hampton Road Show. Next week at 11 a.m. on Wavy TV 10. Monday at 6. Ted on Your Side investigates what's being done to help former inmates find jobs. When I got out, the reality was really harsh for me. Then a twist in the story that we never saw coming. Monday on Wavy News 10 at 6. Tired of being stuck in traffic? That's why I depend on 10 Time Saver Traffic to get me where I'm going. Powered by Nissan of Chesapeake and Nissan of Norfolk. Olympic Games live this August from Rio on NBC. <coughs> it didn't get the shot. I should have gotten my shot. Don't miss out. Get your shot. Miss the flu, not your life. Go to misstheflu.com and find out where you can get your flu shot. Weather, it's ever-changing. And in Hampton Roads, you know it can change in an instant. What starts out as a raindrop could easily become a storm. You need a forecast that's simple and direct. The Super Dot for 10 weather team has more combined experience forecasting weather, giving you the information to protect your family and the time you need to get ready for severe weather. It's about preparing you. It's about keeping you safe. Super Doppler 10, on your side. Old Dominion fans, thank goodness for Trey Freeman, the Kellum High School graduate who sent the Monarchs to the NIT Final Four, continues to rule Conference USA again. I'm Bruce Rader. Old Dominion evened its conference record at 4-4 four four tonight as Trey Freeman surpassed the 1,000-point mark as the Monarchs crushed Florida Atlantic 78-66. to Old Dominion never trailed and led by as many as 12 points in the first half. But this team this year is all about Trey Freeman. The kid has only been at ODU for two seasons. He transferred from Campbell and has already scored over 1,000 points. He had 28 tonight and has scored at least 
least that many in five straight games. He had 37 on Saturday against Marshall, and he is the leading scorer in Conference USA. I've been covering ODU basketball for almost 40 years, and this is one of the most impressive scoring seasons I have ever seen. ODU over Florida Atlantic tonight, 78 to 66. The Monarchs head to Miami for a game Saturday at Florida International. William & Mary, one of the great three-point shooting teams in the nation this year on the road tonight against Delaware off the turnover. It's Terry Tarpey with the dunk and the foul, 16 points for Tarpey. And then it's David Cohn. Watch him as he maneuvers through traffic and gets the tough layup. He had a game-high 23 points. But once again, the attention goes to sharpshooter Connor Birchfield. 18 points all from three-point range. A school tying record tonight, 16 threes and 28 assists for the Tribe who blow out Delaware 94-79. ODU Lady Monarchs at home against Florida Atlantic. It was a route in Norfolk. Sophomore Kiana Brown from Williamsburg. Nice spin and finishes with the layup. At one point, the Lady Monarchs went on a 29-0 run. Jenny Sims, the star of the team. Nice pass to EJ Ejimba. Lady Monarchs cruising. Jenny Sims led the way with 20 points. Look at the nice shooting touch. Destiny Young also had 18. A big night for the Lady Monarchs. A 40-point win over Florida Atlantic. Norfolk State's assistant men's basketball coach Larry Vickers is not only dealing with his regular job, but is now the head coach of the Spartans women's team as well. Norfolk State Athletic Director Marty Miller gave Vickers the double duty after the women lost 17 games in a row. And Coach Vickers, well, he's taken on the challenge with a smile. It might have been about now and about two weeks ago. And Mr. Miller just walked past me and he just asked me, could I coach women, pretty much. And I, at first I kind of laughed it off. Uh, I didn't think he was serious by any means. And then so when he asked me, could I do it, I obviously, I, I jumped on it. There is a lot more to the story about the personable coach Vickers. And to see it, just go to wavy.com and click on sports. All right, we're going to be right underneath. Monday at Ashley Furniture Home Store in Chesapeake and Virginia Beach. Every price on the floor is the price at your door. Like our best-selling sofa. After tax, delivery, and warranty, still $7.99. Through Monday at Ashley Furniture Home Store. I am totally blind. I lost my sight in Afghanistan. If you're totally blind, you may also be struggling with non-24. Call 844-844-2424 or visit my24info.com. With the holidays behind you, it's time to get your credit card balance back in shape. Don't get weighed down by a card that charges 18% or more per month. Put your debt on a diet by transferring your credit card balance to ABNB Federal Credit Union. You could qualify for rates as low as 1.99% APR for the first six months and an incredible regular rate of only 7.99%. No annual fees and no cash advance fees. ABNB. Open. Honest. Hard working. Visit us to start saving money today. Curves test you, dare you, and invite you in. Curves help you escape, inspire you, and definitely exhilarate you. And the new BMW 3 Series with near-perfect weight distribution was designed to carve every single one of them. Right now, lease a BMW 320i sedan for as low as $329 a month. Start your day smarter with the Wavy 10 News app. Save time by getting vital information. Instantly at your fingertips. Up to the minute weather forecast, traffic jams, and breaking news. Make the Wavy 10 News app part of your morning routine. Through Monday at Ashley Furniture Home Store in Chesapeake and Virginia Beach. Every price on the floor is the price at your door. Like our best-selling sofa. After tax, delivery, and warranty, still $7.99. Through Monday at Ashley Furniture Home Store. 
Introducing First Team Kia World. We route to be Hampton Roads Kia destination with up to 7,500 off MSRP. Wheels, Optimus, Souls, Forte, Sorrentos, all at unbeatable low prices. Backed by the First Team Advantage. Get 0% APR for 66 and 1,000 Kia bonus cash. New Kia Soul or Forte, your choice, 13,984. Bad credit? We finance. Plus, every new First Team Kia World vehicle comes with our exclusive lifetime warranty on Military Highway north of the airport. Hurry to First Team Kia World today. A little bit of rain, but it's yeah. moving on off, which is All good right. news. And uh, again, it's mainly for North Carolina. Tomorrow will be rather breezy, 49 degrees. Nice day on Saturday, 51. Really nice day on Sunday. All right, Wavy News Time today begins at 4.30 a.m. Wavy.com, 24-7. Jimmy Fallon.